of the cameras in the back. And for those asking questions, make sure you leave your mask on and do not touch the microphones at the side of the room. My first question will be for you, Jan. Some speculated that uh, given the fact that you were in the situation you were in in the match, that maybe you might play a bit uh, more sharply, if you will, with the black pieces. Uh, what was your strategy coming into the game? No, I mean, uh, you would probably that uh, basically playing as black, you don't have such a big choice. And uh, I mean, especially it's classical, even if you play so-called sharp opening like Sicilian, if white wants to shut it down, white surely will shut it down so that uh, you know not realistic anyway. You know I have a couple of uh, white um, uh, pieces, uh, a couple of tries in uh, the remaining four games, and I mean of course it depends on uh, what would I produce in um, uh, in eleventh game. Uh, but uh, today was just I mean. Uh, was just an idea to to play a normal game, try not to blunder something in one move. Yeah, so, uh, I had some more realistic tasks. You've only got, as like you said, four games left. With three game, you have to catch up for three points, a three point deficit. I know your strategy is still heavily trying to win this match. Well, uh, that's an absurd question. Okay, uh, you were at the board, uh, seemingly a lot more today. Uh, than than usual, what what was the reason for that? Uh, I guess the chair is more comfortable than sofa. Yeah. But I mean, uh, actually, today's game yeah was more more or less obvious that uh, it won't uh, you know last too long. But uh, was uh, wasn't you know a big difference where to sit. Magnus, a draw, great result for you. Uh, yeah, uh, at this point, um, I mean, there's so few games to uh, to go that any any draw is, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an excellent result. Your choice of knight d3 in the opening instead of knight f3, what, what motivated that? Um, mainly the prospects of um, getting the queens off very soon and getting a drive position. So again, I assume that for you now, it's just... Shut it all down and, and get out of here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I very much assume he's gonna he's gonna try and win, uh, especially with uh, with the white pieces. Uh, so, um, but but sure, any any half point that uh, that I can get is is great, and uh, I think that's yeah, it's pretty pretty obvious. All right, I'll open the floor to reporters to ask questions. Again, use the mics on the side and be sure not to touch the microphones and always wear your mask, please. Uh, Sagar Shah from Chessways India. My question is to Magnus. Uh, Jan's uh, knight c6 move in the opening, did it surprise you? It's a new move. Uh, and why did you opt for c3? And uh, did you think of bishop e3 maybe there? It's a possibility. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, knight c6 was uh, was a bit of a surprising move order to me. Uh, and uh, as you as you said, bishop b3 is a move there. Um, but um, uh, and surely the the critical one. Uh, but uh, I was just uh, not in not in the mood. Uh, and uh, you know. Yeah, I think the match match situation sort of sort of explains explains that. Um, frankly, uh, I hadn't uh, I hadn't thought about him playing the Petrov today at all. Um, I was praying for various sharp openings that he could play, uh, and um, the thought was if he goes one e five, then you know I'll I'll see I'll. I'll um, uh, I didn't think um, like making a draw against uh, the Petrov would be would be a ma major issue. Thank you. Rune <coughs> from Chess24. Question to both players. Let's start with Magnus. Uh, what was the most interesting moment or moments of the game to you? Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't that much to um, talk about. Um, 
was fairly happy with the move uh, G3 at some point. Uh, I, I kind of thought um, I might be getting a very slight edge at that point. Um, and then probably I needed to be a bit more patient later on since um, I was kind of hoping uh, that um, after after allowing this G5 to happen that I could provoke uh, F5, F4, maybe later, later on and then start, uh, start pushing with H4. Uh, but um, uh, it all holds uh, very well well together for, for black there's a there's nothing um i think if i played a little more patiently there um i could have had the 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 tiniest of edges but um naturally uh would have hunted it uh for it um more diligently if uh, the match situation had been different okay thank you and jan well uh I guess uh, it was a huge moment when uh, White uh, didn't go for bishop b3. Okay, you know, bishop, I mean, in the opening, yeah, there's bishop b3, g5, knight d3, or, or something like this. Yeah, so this would, I know, spice things uh, up a little bit, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe g6 was uh, somewhat slow, so I should have played rook e8, knight d2, bishop g4 immediately, yeah, not to, uh, not to allow this um, structure, yeah, with. Uh, uh, my uh, light square bishop being restricted, but yeah, I guess after g5, f5. So I was sort of concerned about like him playing a4, a5 first and only then going for this g4. Uh, yeah, but I mean, okay, after g4, a5, I, I didn't really see uh, why it uh, is going for something realistic, but of course, uh, yeah, I needed to be precise, not to blunder, uh, as, uh, as I used to do before, but uh, yeah, in general, it's you know, not much. Uh, not a lot of uh, excitement today. Okay, thank you. I think he was first, really. <laughs> uh, Hans Orbakken from NRK, question to both players. FIDE today decided that Kazakhstan in the Christmas time, the um, Rapid and Bliss is uh, cancelled for Kazakhstan. They're working with the plan B to arrange it somewhere else. What do you think about that? I believe uh, with uh, all, uh, all this, you know, uh, Omicron story, yeah, it's uh, pretty, um, I don't know how to say, uh, it's pretty normal, yeah, at some point that uh, all major sporting events are being closed or postponed, so that's uh, the reality we, we live in, so, I mean, of course, it's a pity, but uh, uh, as for me, I didn't decide yet if I would We'll have to play in a World Rabbit and Blitz or uh, skip it this year if it if it will be held. Yeah, I didn't didn't know anything about about that. Um, generally, I'm hoping hoping to play if it's still if it's still held. Um, yeah, otherwise it's a pity. But obviously, uh, it's not not a lot to you, not a lot you can do. Are oh, they working with the other plan? Yeah, I understand. Thank you. Mike Klein with chess.com. My question is for Magnus. Uh, Magnus, you've not been in this situation since 2014, protecting a lead coming down to the wire. You've already explained some of your decisions today. You're normally a very uncompromising uncom player, so did you have to be convinced of this pragmatic approach today, or did you make this decision all on your own? Um, no, there was, there was some uh, discussion in uh, in my team, uh, but I was uh, uh, definitely um, not uh, pushing for uh, for something. Um, uh, yeah, for for a different approach, let's say. Hi, this is Anna Kramling reporting from my channel, Anna Kramling. Uh, this is a question for both players. If you could only play e4 or d4 for the rest of your lives, which move of the two would you choose and why? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different from, from other questions. Thank you. Um, I would probably probably go for, um, for e4. Um, seems like there's um, a little more variety there um, in both uh, closed and open uh, games, uh, 
but um, uh, otherwise, I, I um, I'm I'm thinking that um, it's probably probably uh, enough theory that we have already, and it's difficult enough to um, to get an opening advantage. So to actually be restricted to only one move uh, would be a bit of a nightmare. Well, uh, I guess 100 years ago or about it, uh, someone, yes, Rouser told that, okay, why just wins after the first move e4? Uh, so quite some something changed since then, but uh, yeah, in general, overall, it feels like um, e4 is nowadays is more forcing, but uh, at, uh, at the same time, you know, the I would say more fun. So let it be e4. Okay, thank you. Chess.com again, I'll also try my hand at a non-topical question for once. Uh, if either of you could choose any second in history to be on your current team, that is any player that's ever been alive to be on your current team, who would it be and why? Questions for both players. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the team I have. Um, <clears throat> I'm also very satisfied with uh, uh, the team that that I have, um, but uh, maybe Kramnik in '96. He seemed to be a good second for uh, for Gary. Uh, probably pretty annoying, but still very interesting. Why would he be annoying? Uh, I think that's self-explanatory. So, uh, Magnus, you have been a, you have always been wanted a, to be a world champion in classical, rapid, and it's also blitz. So, my question to you is, uh, w what's your take on world bullet over the board uh, championship? Uh, that sounds like a nightmare uh, and pretty un unrealistic. Um, I think we're just not fast enough not even close for for that to be um uh to, for for that to be uh realistic so i think uh speed chess in general um over the board it's it's uh it's good to have uh have increment it makes it better thank you and i would also like to know nepo's opinion here sorry uh could you please repeat what do you think about world bullet bullet championship uh, over the board well uh if only it would be held, you know, with some wooden pieces, so it would, you know, make some sense. But uh, uh, apart of this playing bullet online, I would, I would say that there is there are quite a lot of computer games which require some nice reaction and uh, also very very interesting. And uh, that's why I normally prefer these games uh, uh, instead of uh, bullet games. Thank you. Uh, Ole Kristenström, VG Norway. A uh, question for Magnus. Um, is the title in classical chess uh, more prestigious for you than Rapid and Blitz, or can you compare them? Yeah, uh, they're, um, um, they're comparable in the sense that um, the, the classical title um, is only, um, it's only contested every two years, and uh, Rapid and Blitz is at least supposed to be every year, so um, I think that answers answers the question. Um, a, apart uh, apart from that, uh, I'm really really happy uh, that um, the the effort has been made to organize the Rapid and Blitz Championship the, the last few years, and it's uh, certainly added um, something special to the to the calendar and. Um, and it's obviously very prestigious as well. Thank you. Ansvarbaken, NRK again. Question to Magnus: um, What activity do you hope Magnus Barsta is preparing for you tomorrow? Paddle, basketball, football? What do you hope for? Well, I can also choose myself, um, but uh, I will tell you uh, what my plans are uh, for tonight. Um, they will. Um, I, I hope to see um, two all-time greats uh, bust out of um, their respective uh, competitions, uh, namely um, uh, Barcelona and uh, Bent Lightwell. Like